Hey guys, how you doing? My name's Robbie, and today we're gonna be opening up a can of life hacks. Oh man, I'm really no match for these. You guys are gonna love them, they're very shocking. <laughs> Let's just do some life hacks. Okay, so we're gonna start out with our hoodie right here. Looks good. And then we get a shirt and do this. Actually, I think we're supposed to fold this in like this first. Then we get a shirt and we do that. Then we get another shirt and another. Looks good. And one last one. So apparently we just fold these in, then fold this in, and we fold this in, and this one, and fold these, and fold these, and then fold this one, and then fold this one, and fold this in, and fold this one in, and then boom! We have a clean little package. The only problem I have with this is like, what if I want one of these shirts in the middle? Then I have to dig through this whole thing and redo everything just to get to it. It's so much better just to fold your shirts or roll them at this point. I personally roll them because I, I feel like it makes them a lot more compact, uh, but that's just me. So, I mean, I guess this kind of works if you're into that. So I think what I'm gonna do is uh, drink this whole half gallon of water. Well, here we go. Oh, that was gross. How far have I gone? Oh. I still have that much left. This is like drink mix, by the way. Uh, I can't drink my water normal. Uh, I don't know why. It just, it just tastes so plain. I had to mix a bunch of different flavors because I didn't have enough of one flavor. Uh, so we got lemon. We got lemon berry squeeze. We got Powerade flavoring. It's uh, it's it's also kind of. It tastes a little funky. I'm I'm gonna I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, uh, I just puked in my mouth a little bit. That was gross. <sighs> Oh, okay. Well, uh, now all there is to do is wait. So I'll see you guys when I have to pee. <sighs> okay, guys, it's been about an hour, and I really have to pee now. I gotta, I really, I really gotta go to the bathroom. So apparently, what we gotta do is this. Is this helping? Apparently, this makes it a lot worse. Oh, yeah. That definitely does make it a lot worse. But if we do this, I guess it helps not squish your bladder. I mean, I still definitely really need to pee. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I definitely need to pee still. But when I cross my legs like this, I definitely need to pee more. So I guess they're kind Kind of right if you really think about it. So I guess we're gonna have to say this one it kinda works? I don't know. Okay, so here's our mascara. We're just gonna test it out on this eye first. Let's see. So look it. Oh my gosh, I'm just so bad at doing my mascara and I get it all over the top of my eye. Wow, I have some really like luscious eyelashes now. I've never worn mascara before. This is so scary. I don't know if I like that, but look it, I got it all over my eyelid. What the heck am I supposed to do? So we're just gonna go ahead and break out our post-it note and then we do this. Yeah, it's working. It's not getting on my eyelid. And look it, I have such luscious eyelashes now. Well guys, I guess we're gonna have to say this one works. Okay, so here's our Afro comb. Here's our apple that I'm definitely not reusing from a craft that I just did. So we're just gonna uh, put that in there. I feel like it would definitely work better if it was metal, but uh, oh well. Here we go. Some nice, clean, even cuts. Wow, looks like it's turning out pretty good. These are perfect little apple slices. Oh yeah, okay. So if I ever want some, you know, perfect little apple slices, I know exactly what to do. Well guys, I guess we said this one works. I need water. I need water. Water. Melon? This thing. Let's see, do I have anything in my pockets? <gasps> okay, well, I guess I'll try it. So, we just, uh, maybe I can get a rock and. Oh man, come on. Ah! This is so hard! Ah! Almost. And it went through! Okay, just gotta do it all the way around. I'm doing it! Oh no, I almost lost it. I almost lost my coin. Uh, 
there's some points where it just doesn't want to go through. Oh my gosh, I'm not even halfway done. Why is this so hard? This hurts my fingers. Okay, I'm gonna start on the other side, because that's that's too much for me. I just get it in a really thick part of the rind. Ow! Look, my hands are starting to turn green. It's like I'm the Hulk or something. <laughs> this is so much harder than I thought. <laughs> ah! I did it! For the love of five minute crafts, I really hope that this works. Okay. Now apparently it should just break right in half. One, two, and oh! Come on. Why aren't you breaking in half? <laughs> oh! Oh! Well guys, I guess we can say it works! Who am I talking to? Okay. I wonder if there's a cleaner way to eat this. So here's my truck. As you can see, it's very messy in the back, and I apologize. Here are our tools right here, and as you can see, you just kind of put that in, and then twist that, and the tire starts coming down. Now, with this, I have like literally no place to put my drill. I want to put it on here. It'll, I don't know. I feel like that's just a bad idea. I can't attach to this, because this literally goes in there, and then... Maybe I can't, I don't know. No, that doesn't even fit in there. I was thinking I could put it in there and then cut this part off and then maybe put that into the drill, but that wouldn't even work because this side doesn't even fit. I could cut this whole thing off, but then I would be out a potential like tire lift. So that's not a good idea. So I'm gonna go ahead and say that this one kind of varies between cars. Okay, so here are our batteries. This one's dead, this one's alive. Apparently if we just drop them, uh, the live one will stand up straight and the dead one will just fall on its uh, on its face. So uh, let's do this. One, two, and they're both, I, this is literally brand new. Okay, one, two, and no, nope. one, two, and this one's dead. Okay, we'll try this again. Ready, one, two, and nope. That one's dead. It's freaking dead. Let's see if it works with nine volts. This one's dead, this one is brand new. Ready, one, two, and Nope, they both fell. One, two, and... Nope. So obviously this doesn't work. This straight up doesn't work. Okay guys, well, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one doesn't work. Okay, so instead of using my phone camera, I'm gonna go ahead and use my, uh, you know, nice fancy camera. Here are our pantyhose. I'm pretty sure that's what these are called, right? So I guess we just cut a little bit off like that, and then we gotta stretch it over the lens. Just like that. Oh, I'm gonna use this rubber band to make sure that it stays like properly stretched out. There we go. Okay, and we got our little model right here. Here's our Bulbasaur. Yeah, it doesn't even look like it wants to focus right now. I'm gonna have to manually focus it. It doesn't look like anything's really changed with it besides it's more foggy. So here's our first photo with the sepia filter. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take this off and then we'll compare and contrast. And here's without the sepia filter. Okay, so let's see. I mean, it kind of adds a little bit of a sepia look, but uh, I'm not really digging it. I would say just change it in, in camera. Like, most cameras have a sepia filter built in, like even phone cameras. So, I would say that this one, uh, it kind of works, but I wouldn't really recommend it. Hey guys, so here's our vinyl glove, here's our syringe, and here's all the stuff we're gonna be filling the fingers of this glove with. So I guess we'll start off with this one. Oh, I just broke that. Oops. It's not coming out. Come on. Oh yeah, that worked great. So we're just gonna put that into the glove right there. Oh yeah, that's working out real good. Yeah, so we're just gonna squish that in there a little bit. Okay, next one. 
It doesn't seem to want to work with body gel. <gasps> Come on. Well, yeah. yeah, that should be enough. Next finger. And just put all that in there. Yeah, it looks good. Next is Fast Orange. This is actually used for, like, uh, mechanics to clean their hands. Can't live without this stuff. We're just gonna... Oh, no, I got it all over it. Okay, uh, well, let's try this, I guess. Maybe this one wasn't a good idea because it has pumice in it. And pumice is like little rocks. I mean, it still came out. Oh, man, that looks so gnarly. Blech. Last but not least, the Irish Spring. Cool, put that in there, and boom! Yeah, it looks like we're all good. Oh no, my Irish Spring's gotten to my fast orange. Next, we're gonna get our blowtorch and our knife. We're just gonna go ahead and heat that baby up. Bringing back the 1,000 degree knife challenge, baby! Oh yeah, look at all that fun stuff just dripping off of it. This thing has definitely gotten some use. Here we go, so we just uh, do that. Oh yeah, that smells really good. Heat it up again. Here we go, oh that smells awful. And we should have little packets of uh, cleaner stuff. Oh man, these are just leaking all over the place. I would not trust these in my bag. Honestly guys, at this point, just buy little portable bottles. They're like 50 cents each at Walmart. Come on, do you really gotta do this? Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and say that this one doesn't really work. Okay guys, so here's our iPhone case. Here's our ramen. I'm actually using ramen because I couldn't find any of that weird uh, plastic, whatever that's called. So I guess what we're gonna do is just, um... Yeah, that ought to do it. Just kind of sprinkle that up over there. Put that off to the side. Don't need that. And here's our case. There we go. One on the inside. Okay, it looks good. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna hot glue them on. Okay, now we just have to wait for this to heat up. Okay, it looks like we're all good. Let's do this. Now I'm just gonna kinda sprinkle this ramen on here. I mean, I'm gonna put big chunks on at first. This big chunk, and then this chunk. Put a little bit more hot glue under there. There we go. Sprinkle it on. Okay, looks like it's uh, it's all staying on. Yeah, not bad. I'm just gonna go ahead and clear all this out really quick. Okay, so now it's time to add our eggs. I actually don't have any little eggs, so I guess this is just gonna have to do. Haha, -ha, perfect. One more. Yeah, it looks good. And now you have a styling fashion phone case. If you have this on your phone, it's definitely gonna be original. Well guys, I guess we can say that this one works. Okay guys, I don't know if I could do this one. It seems a little complicated to me. So I guess we're just gonna twist my hair like that. And then we get our hair straightener. And then we just kinda do this. Keep twisting it. My hair is gonna be so curly and perfect after this. I mean, if that's what you're into, I guess. How are we looking? Nope, that's definitely not curly. Maybe I should do it a few more times. Twist it real good. Here we go. Leave it on a little bit longer, maybe. Oh yeah, looking pretty good. My hair curly yet? Why is there red in my hair? Oh, it's from the blood. How are we looking? Does that look curlier now? It doesn't really look like it made my hair curly at all, so I'm gonna go ahead and say that this one doesn't work. Okay, so here's our orange, here's our cup of water, here's our syringe. Just gonna suck up some water, just like that. Yeah, that should be enough. Maybe a little bit more. Yeah, there we go. Then apparently we just put it into the orange, and then uh, we squeeze it, squeeze all the water in. I can tell that this is gonna be a very juicy orange. Okay, now apparently this should make it so that it's really easy to peel. Let's do this. Okay, not bad. That juice is definitely getting everywhere. I mean, it's not really that much easier. It's not coming apart like it showed in the video, so maybe I'm just supposed to pull it apart? Ooh. Yeah, I don't know about this. This definitely doesn't make it easier to peel. It feels like it's about the same. Oh man, this poor orange. <laughs> okay, yeah. This feels like it's about as easy to peel as it would normally be. Let's see if it tastes any different. It's definitely way more watery than a normal orange. I mean, it doesn't really taste that much better at all. So I guess we're gonna have to say that this one kind of works. I don't know. At least I got an orange out of it, and that's all that really matters. Eat your vitamin C, kids. It's great for you. Now I just have a kind of like a big mess. <laughs> Okay, so let's start out with our pack of screws. 
We only need one, really, so there we go. Get that out of there. Then we're gonna get our toothbrush. Ugh. Okay, yeah, orange. That's a, one of my least favorite colors, but it's okay. I should really invest in some tin snips or something. But why the heck would I use tin snips when I have this guy? Let's do it. Perfect. Yeah, that worked. This is looking a little rough, so uh, let's just go ahead and sand that out a little bit. Oh, yeah, yeah, it looks good. Then I'm gonna go ahead and get my drill. And I think I was supposed to do this part first, but who the heck cares? Here we go. You can do it! Uh, 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 uh. Maybe this will work. Okay, yeah, that, uh, that, that looks okay. Now we're just gonna go ahead and put that on. Yeah, this looks great. Now let's try it out. So I know that they used a shower in theirs, but I'm gonna go ahead and use a sink for this. So here's our little cup. That should be enough water. And apparently we just put some hand soap in there. It looks like I'm pretty out of hand soap. Do I have any in here? Oh, hand soap. Are you in here? Where the heck is my hand soap? I can't seem to find any hand soap, but I found the shampoo, so. Oh, that's very watery shampoo. Okay, let's do this. Now let's try to clean the sink. Uh-oh, the screw came loose. I'm gonna try it this way now. Okay, yeah, now let's uh, let's go ahead and rinse this off so we can see how good it looks. I did exactly half the sink so you can see how dirty it is, and I'm gonna have to say that this actually kind of cleaned it. So I guess we're gonna have to say that this one works! Okay guys, so here's my one million subscriber plaque. Let's just go ahead and flip that over. We just get our piece of paper, get our Sharpie. Just kind of feel where the holes are, I guess. Let's go like that, and one like that. Okay, cool, now we know where the holes are. Let's try this. All I'm gonna be hanging it up on, so I'm just gonna go ahead, put it right here. One thumbtack right here, another one right here. Okay, it looks good, then apparently we just tear this away. Hang it up. Whoa! Well guys, I guess we can say that this one, oh. Well guys, I guess we said this one worked! Okay, so here's our weird uh, meat tray thing. Let's just go ahead and cut this in half. Yeah, it looks good. Now just get our glue gun. Ooh, got some glue on there. And we just outline the outside of it. Yeah, it looks good. Now we're just gonna slap these bad boys together and boom. Okay, now we have ourselves a perfect little meat tray uh, a pocket pencil holder thing. Um, <laughs> I don't know. The glue's still a little hot, so I'm gonna wait for this to cool down and then we'll put it on my wall. So here's a nice blank part of my wall that uh, I think it would, uh, you know, fit perfectly in. I'm gonna go ahead and put some of these thumbtacks in it. Uh, that way it, you know, can stick to the wall. There we go. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Right there. Okay. Yeah, it looks good. Can go ahead and put some fun uh, pens in there, some pencils. Yeah, not bad. Well, guys, I guess we're gonna say that this one works. Okay, guys, so here's our shirt. Here's our hair tie. Let's just uh, fix up the bottom of our shirt, just like that. I'm not sure how they hid the weird bottom part. Maybe they just kind of uh, did this, and then just kind of, I'm not sure. And then we get our belt. Ready to do this shirt. Put that in here, and there we go. We clip this like that. Boom. Now we put some stuff in here. Since I am packing for Canada, I might as well bring some craft essentials, like a pack of screws, my big knife. My drill, a pair of scissors, and we can't forget this guy. Wait, I'm going with you to Canada? Woohoo! Yep, here you go. Awesome, now let's test this bag out. Okay, so here we go. Let's hope I don't get stabbed by the multiple things that are in here. Oh wow, this is great, it works! And it blends in with my shirt perfectly. I'm all ready to fly to Canada now. Let's just hope I don't get arrested in TSA. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay guys, so here's our palette, but I don't want to bring this whole thing with me because it's so freaking bulky. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get our parchment paper and we're just gonna kind of rub that all on there. Perfect, now we can use this for later. Just for the sake of simplicity, we're gonna pretend it's later. So uh, here we go. I just need to use my highlighter. I mean, it uh, it's, it's kind of working. Yeah, looks like, Looks like we got highlighter for later. Well guys, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one works, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Okay guys, so here's our egg, here's our bowl, here's our little thumbtack. I'm just gonna go ahead and stab it and make the hole maybe a little bigger. Yeah, there we go. Put the hole right here too. Okay, now we get our balloon. I'm just gonna go ahead and blow that up really quick. Okay, now we're just gonna try and blow the egg out, just like this with the balloon. Ready? And a one, a two, and oh my god, it's actually coming out. Wow, it's actually working. <laughs> wow, it actually hollowed out the egg. That's handy. Well guys, I guess we can say this one works. What do I do with this empty eggshell now? Hey Toby, yes? you wanna see a magic trick? Oh, I don't know. Well, here you go. Wow, I can't believe you did that. Okay, I'm going. Okay guys, here is our toilet paper. We just gotta roll it like that. Just keep squishing it and hopefully this cardboard will give up and it'll come out. There we go. Aha! Perfect. Now let's just pull this out. Wow! It looks like it's working! Wow! Perfect! Well guys, I guess we can say that this one works! Okay, so first we're gonna get our spray bottle and we're gonna get our bottle of Coke. Okay, cool, it didn't explode. Sweet. Oh no! Okay, good enough. And we're just gonna take this off and then just screw it right on there. Perfect. Oh, it's already spraying out because it's kind of fizzing up. Oh no. Oh, my desk is gonna be so sticky after this. Okay, well, I guess let's go test this out on my mirror before it gets everywhere, I guess. Okay, here's our mirror, here's our spray bottle. I do have some streaks on here. I don't know if you guys can see. Oh, it's really bad down here. So we'll just, oh my gosh, I didn't even have to spray it. It's just going crazy. I don't even have to try. Apparently this is supposed to leave me with no streaks. I don't know how well this is realistically gonna work. Uh, okay, now I just get my paper towel. Yeah, I don't know about this one. This is looking a lot dirtier than it was before. It's kind of just like really foggy looking now. Oh, that's awful. I don't know. It's That's not very good. Yeah, that's not good at all. I don't know if you guys can see that. Ugh, that's not very good. Somebody go ahead and say that this one doesn't work. Oh my gosh, I just love these chips. Oh wait, I need to get rid of the product placement. Uh, yeah, that ought to do it. Yeah, I just love these generic chips. Oh man, there's so many crumbs in here. Oh, I just spilled all the crumbs. No! Well, it's time to test this bad boy out. So first we gotta get our water bottle. Cut that in half, put that right here. I feel like uh, the water bottle is supposed to be a little bigger, um, so I think I might have messed up on that. Nothing a little bit of duct tape won't fix. Am I right, guys? I probably should have done this before I did the whole spilling the chips bit. That way I would have had a clean workspace. Uh-oh. Yeah, that'll do. Just take that cap off, then we get a sock, just like that. I think this is to like catch everything or something. I don't really know. Anyway, let's see if we can vacuum up these chips. Here we go. Oh my gosh, there was like smoke coming out of my dryer. It did work though, but that's very scary. Dude, I think they're trying to kill us. Why was there smoke coming out of my dryer? Okay, I'll do it one more time just to show you guys. Oh my God, oh my God, yeah, there's smoke coming, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. That's so scary. Dude. Well, yeah, that's a good way to break your stuff. I'm gonna have to say that this one works, but I wouldn't recommend it. So, thumbs down for me. Oh 
Okay guys, so here's our shoe. Oh no, it's getting so wet. What am I supposed to do? Okay, yeah, so it looks like nice and soggy. Here are our rocks. Gonna go ahead and uh, dump a couple of those bad boys in here. Yeah, now I just gotta wait for these puppies to boil. Just making a nice hot rock soup. Okay, I'll see you guys when they're done. Okay, so they're nice and boiled. Uh, here's our shoe. Just go ahead and take this puppy out nice and hot and put it in there. Ooh, don't wanna touch that. This is gonna be really hot. I hope it doesn't melt my sneakers. Get in, get in my shoe, Rock. Get in there. Uh, this is probably making my mom real mad because she told me I never put my shoes on the counter, but oh well, you don't live with me now, Mom. I can do what I want. I'm an adult. I can put rocks in my shoes if I want. Here we go. And one last big boy. Aha! Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and let this uh, hopefully not melt my shoe for a little bit. And I will tell you guys uh, what the results are in about 10 minutes. Okay, it's been about 10 minutes. Uh... Yeah, dump all these rocks out. Let's see how dry the inside is. Oh yeah, that's still pretty freaking wet. Yeah, I don't really know about this one. This didn't really dry it at all. It just kind of made my shoe warm. So I'm gonna go ahead and say that this one doesn't work. Okay guys, so here's our tape. We're just gonna go ahead and cut this into small strips and then we're gonna put it on our eyelids. Okay, so first little strip. Boop. Just gonna put that right on the camera lens for later. Boop. There we go. And there's another one. One more for good luck. Okay, let's start putting these on my eyelid. So I just gotta close my eyelid like that. Yeah. Oh, that's not straight. Yeah, there we go. And then we get another one. Yeah. This is a lot harder than it looks. I can't see what I'm doing. Yeah, does that look good? Uh, I hope I'm doing this right. And another one, just like that. Yeah, looks good. Then we're gonna get our eyeshadow, and then, yeah, red looks good. And then we just kinda brush it on there. I have candy cane eyelids now. I am the best beauty guru ever. You guys have to admit it, right? This is looking pretty good. Is it, is it, is it, is it all? Did I do it right? I don't think I did this right, but you know, it might turn out good. So we're just now gonna peel them off. Come on, last one. Wow, it looks like we actually got some stripes on there. Well guys, I guess we're gonna say that this one works. I got candy, candy cane eye, eyelids now. Who wouldn't want that? Okay guys, so here's our cup, here's our vinegar. We'll just pour some of this in there. Man, I hate the smell of vinegar so much. <laughs> so gross! Yeah, let's get that out of here. Now we just get our egg and we put it in here for 24 hours. Okay guys, I'll see you guys in 24 hours. Okay guys, so it's been about 24 hours. Here's our egg. Oh boy, we got a little bit of foamage in there. I don't know what's going on with that. We're gonna go ahead and grab our fancy tongs that we made a while ago. Here we go. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, that's so weird. Oh! Don't get on me, I hate vinegar. Okay, that looks like a very bouncy egg. Let's try it. Oh, it actually bounces. That's so weird. Oh, it's all squishy. Oh, that's so weird. Why does it do that? It's just, why is it a bouncy egg? Oh, it broke open. Here's what it was. This is the bounciness. The bounciness is gone. Oh man, that's so gross. I hate the smell of vinegar. Well guys, I guess we could say that this one works. It's very gross though. I wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> Okay, so here are our straws. Just take some of these out. Yeah, that's good. Line these up. Then we're gonna get our zip tie. And then we just zip that up. Next, all we gotta do is pull and apparently some magic's gonna happen. You ready? One, two, and. Ah. Ooh, that kind of hurts my fingers. One, two, and. Ugh. I mean, it's not as like crazy as it was in the video, but I mean, it's, it's still doing something. I think I need some pliers to help me pull it. Here we go. <sighs> Well, yeah, that might be uh, as far as we're getting. Maybe I just need more straws, so I'm just gonna get a grip of them. Maybe like this. Let's try that. Zip tie them up. Okay, now for the magic. You ready? One, two, and... Uh, come on. Oh, it actually worked. Maybe I just gotta do the same with this one. Oh no, it's about the same. Okay, yeah, these kinda look cool. Well guys, I guess we can say that it works. Okay, so here is my water boiler. I've had this for a while. As you guys can see, there's quite a bit of lime stain in there. So uh, yeah, that's kind of bad. So we're gonna go ahead and get our Coca-Cola. Open that up, dump that in there. I really hope that this doesn't break it. And 
another. Mmm, <laughs> tasty. I'm not sponsored by Coke, by the way. So then we're just gonna close that up. And we're gonna go ahead and let it boil. I'll see you guys when it's done. Okay, guys, this is all boiled. Uh, let's go dump this out. Oh man, that's so steamy. <laughs> Oh, okay, let's do this. Okay, so I have to admit that this smells a little weird. Anyway, let's go ahead and just dump that out. Mm, it's not looking too bad. More water in there. Maybe squish it around a little bit. There we go. Okay, yeah, so it doesn't look like all of the lime stain got removed, but it looks like a lot of it did. So I'm gonna go ahead and say that this one kind of works. I'm sure if I did another two or three more times, it would look a lot better. So yeah. Okay, so here's another bottle we're cutting up. Cool, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Then we get our sock, just kinda put it over it, just like that. Oh, get back here, come on, just. Uh, I think I might need a better bottle. I think this one ought to do. Okay, let's try it with this. There we go, yeah, it looks good. Now we're gonna put this over the bottle, just like that. Oh, that definitely looks like it worked a lot better. Now we gotta mix up our bubble solution. Just gonna squirt some of that in there. A little bit of water. Mix it up. Yeah, that ought to do it. Now we just go ahead and put this in. Okay, let's see if this works, you ready? One, two, and... Whoa, it's working! Nice! Well guys, I guess we're gonna say this one worked! <laughs> okay guys, so here's our folding organizer, and here are the clothes that I'm gonna be putting in it. So I'm just gonna nicely fold them and put them in this thing. There we go. Throw a couple of shirts in there. There we go. Now we're just gonna take this off and then fold it up. Okay, cool. Here's our suitcase. Open that up and then we're just gonna toss it in. Okay, wow, it looks like it fits. Well guys, I guess we can say that this one works. I feel like it's a little bit of a waste of space though, especially if you're going on a plane, uh, but whatever. Okay, you ever want to make your eyes look bigger? This is how you're gonna do it. So I guess we just get this white eyeliner pencil. It's just kinda, it's gonna be harder than I thought. This is definitely very cheap eyeliner. I already know that this isn't gonna look very good because I've never applied eyeliner before. How we, how we looking? Yeah, I don't think I got it close enough. Just right on there. Yeah, just like, just like that. Does my eye look bigger? I mean, I guess a little bit. Does my eye look bigger? I definitely need to get it even closer. Wow, I don't know. I'm gonna have to say that this one doesn't really work, but I have seen girls do this and it does make their eyes look a lot bigger. So I'm gonna say that if done correctly, this probably works. Okay guys, so here's our mug. Add some water. I don't know if that's too much. I didn't really specify how much water I was supposed to add. Then we add our egg. There we go, looks good. Now we're gonna toss this puppy in the microwave. Okay, we put that in the microwave, and we put a plate on top of it. Dang it, I forgot how long I was supposed to microwave this for. Time to go all the way back upstairs. Okay, what did it say again? Two minutes, okay, two minutes. Okay, so two minutes. I'll see you guys in two minutes. Okay, it's been one minute. Let's see how this puppy turned out. Ooh, that's already not looking too good. Okay, here we go. Okay, now we're gonna take off the top plate and we're gonna see uh, how this turned out. Oh, wow. That actually looks like it kind of cooked. I really don't know how to feel about this though because it, it looks kind of gnarly. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get this little egg out. It looks kind of watery, but it's fine because I did put a bunch of water in it. Okay, wow, this actually cooked. It almost looks hard boiled to me. That's crazy, like a very watery hard boiled. Well, now for the part that I'm kind of dreading most, uh, let's try this. But first I'm gonna add some salt and pepper. Oh yeah, that definitely looks way more palatable. Here we go, oh boy. Oh yeah, that's definitely a very watery cooked egg. Well guys, if you guys like watery cooked eggs, I guess we can say that this one works! Okay, so here's our shoe. As you can see, the side of my shoe's a little bit dirty. So we're just gonna go ahead and get our eraser and then just kinda do this. Oh my gosh, it's actually becoming more white. Wow, it's actually working. Okay, so that's this side, and this is this side, kinda dirty. Yeah, I definitely think that this made it more clean. So I guess we're gonna have to say this one works. Okay, 
Okay, so here are our matches. I got them everywhere. That's that's just great, Robbie. For this one, we really only need a couple. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my trusty X-Acto knife, and we're just gonna make little slits in it, just like this, apparently. Oh, oop, just, just broke that one. Oops, maybe try again. Little tiny slits, just like that. Okay, so here's our slitted match, and here's our not slitted match. Just go ahead and light these puppies. Okay, so they're lit. Now apparently if I blow on them, uh, this one won't go out. You ready? One, two, and... Oh, wow! That actually worked! I mean, it worked as well as it could. That's not bad! Well guys, I guess we're gonna have to say this one works! Oh, okay guys, so here is a can of generic brand energy drink. Here's our water bottle. I'm just gonna go ahead and cut the top off of that. A lot of that today. There's a lot of that. Then we're gonna go ahead and put this on the monster. Now, I don't have a heat gun, but I do have a blowtorch, and I guess that's gonna be good enough. There's no way that this could end uh, badly. I really hope it doesn't. Please don't end badly. I feel like it needs to go on more. More like that, maybe? Okay, yeah, I definitely think that's a little bit better of a fit. So we're gonna try that. So here we go. Before I start this, guys, I just wanna say, uh, don't play with fire. I'm doing this so that you don't have to. This is very not smart. I don't recommend it. This is unsafe, don't do it. Anyway, you've been warned. <laughs> Okay, yeah, it looks like I got that sealed up. Not bad, it looks a little bit funky. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. Wow, I can't believe I actually sealed that. Is it gonna open and fizz? Oh, nope, it's turning. I feel like it's not 100% tight, but wow, okay. Now, uh, let's go ahead and see how well the sealed up. You guys ready for this? And, oh no, my monster, I dropped it. What am I gonna do? Well, it's a good thing that it has a seal on it. Wow, it looks like it actually sealed. Oh, nope, a little bit uh, came out. But that's only in this one part. It's a little bit wet right here. But in the rest of it, it seems like it sealed pretty good. Oh, nope, it's, it's coming undone now. It is leaking. I might have done it incorrectly, but I feel like I didn't. Uh, <laughs> but anyways, I guess we're gonna say that this one didn't work. It's a fun concept, though. I bet if you put some super glue and like uh, sealed it, it would, it would work perfect. Maybe, I don't know. So here are our pants. Let's just flip these inside out really quick. There we go. Here's our fabric. I'm just gonna go ahead and cut a pocket-sized piece for you guys. And, haha, there we go. Don't need this anymore. Here's our needle and thread. I'm gonna go ahead and sew this to my pants. Okay, that looks good. Now we just do this part. There we go. One side down. There we go. Okay, awesome. Now we have a nice little pocket inside our pants. Now time to try these puppies on. Okay, so we got our pants on. Here's our little pocket right here. Can I even access it? There we go. Yep, I got my little pocket. I'm gonna go ahead and put some Listerine spray in there because, uh, you know, I got some bad breath and I'm kind of ashamed of it, so I gotta hide it. Boom. Well, guys, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one works. Okay guys, so here's our banana. We're just gonna go ahead and burn this tip right here. Because apparently this is what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to burn bananas. This is the best beauty guru hack I've ever seen. Just make it nice and charcoal -y, apparently. Is that good yet? I don't know. Oh, that's definitely red hot. Ugh, burn banana smells weird. Okay, now apparently we're just supposed to kind of take all the chunks off. Ah, it's still on fire. It's still very much hot. Is that enough? We'll just pretend it is. I'm gonna pretend that this is enough. So we're just gonna go in here and then we're gonna put it on our eyebrows to make our eyebrows look bigger. Wow, it's actually kind of working. Yeah. Oh, that definitely works if you don't have an eyebrow pencil, I guess. I'm not sure how long it'll last, but I mean, my eyebrow definitely does look darker. Well guys, I'm gonna go ahead and say it. This one works. Okay, so here's our scissors. Here's our drill. Now all we gotta do is put these inside of this. Okay, yeah. Wow, yeah, okay, it's actually uh, it's actually staying in there. So here's our paint. All I gotta do is open this up. Okay, so here's our paint. Looks good, uh, but it needs to be mixed. What do we do? Pull our scissors up, and then we just go. 
Wow, yeah, it's definitely mixed. Well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say this one work. What am I supposed to do with these scissors now? So here is our nine volts. I actually don't have those weird wire things, uh, but I do have paper clips. So I'm hoping that this will do the same thing. So apparently we're just gonna do this. I'm gonna try and wrap it around the battery terminal and see if that works. Right in there. There we go. Just gonna straighten that up a little bit. Now I'm gonna try the other side. There we go. Okay, uh, I can't seem to get this one to stick, so I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, hot glue it on just like what they did. I'm sure this will work, right? I don't know. I really hope it does, because that would be cool. Okay, we got that side. Yeah, I don't know how well this is gonna stay on. And then we'll do this side. There we go. Yeah, it looks good. Just let that dry for a little bit. Okay, so the glue's dried. Let's go ahead and try this. Here we go. Just kinda connect them at the tip. Yeah, I don't know. This isn't really working. The battery is getting freaking hot, though. It's getting very hot. I hope it doesn't explode, actually. So we have them connected, and it doesn't seem to be burning the wood at all. Ooh. Maybe it'll light this cotton ball on fire. Let's try it. It's getting really hot, but nothing's happening. Ooh. Is this gonna light on fire? Oh my gosh. It, it got so hot that it actually melted the hot glue off. Ooh. My goodness. Ooh. 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 These aren't very hot at all, but the battery is very hot. Like, I can barely hold this. Maybe if I did that, just barely touch them. Come on. Ooh, that's so hot. Yeah, I can't even touch this anymore. Ouch! Okay, guys, I'm gonna have to say that this might work, but it doesn't work with paper clips. So, uh, <laughs> I guess I'm just gonna have to try this hack again later. I feel so silly for thinking it would've worked with paper clips. Oh, well. Okay guys, so here are our bottles. I'm gonna go ahead and take this wood burner and start poking holes. Oh my gosh, that goes through like butter. I feel like it should be a little bit more neat with the holes, but you know, it's fine. I'm sure everything will be just fine. Everything's gonna be all right. Everything's gonna be okay. Oh my god, that is making a lot of plastic smoke. I bet this is awful to breathe. There we go, one down. Now for the other one. Okay, yeah, that should be enough holes. And man, this thing is smoking. I don't know if you guys can see that. <laughs> okay, now we gotta go ahead and cut the tops off. Or I guess the bottoms in this case. Oh man, come on. There we go, don't need that. That looks good. Aha, uh -huh. and we've done it. Get rid of that. Now apparently I need a paper clip. Uh, let me go look for one. I couldn't find paper clips, but I do have these safety pins, and I guess I'll have to do. Here we go, just like that. And then this one. Okay, fill these bad boys up with ice. So here's our fan. I'm gonna go ahead and attach this to here. There we go, now this one. Aha, looks good. Now we fill these bad boys up with ice. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Now I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on. I got my thermometer here. Let's see how cold it is. So it's blowing out about 75 degrees. Now we're gonna take these off and see if it's warmer than that. I should have probably done the opposite first. I should have probably, uh, you know, done it without these on there and then tried it with them on there. But you know, it's whatever. We got our fan on full blast. Here we go. Wow, it's actually a little bit colder now. 74 degrees. Oh, 75. So it's spitting up about the same temperature. Well guys, I'm gonna go ahead and say that this one doesn't work. Okay guys, so here's our toothpaste. Here's our parchment paper. Let's just uh, make a little sheet of this really quick. Oh, uh, come on. You're gonna be a problem, aren't you? I think I did it. So we're just gonna make a bunch of little dots, just like that. That's about how much toothpaste I normally do. Okay, yeah, I think that should do it. Then it says just get some baking soda. So we're just gonna sprinkle that all over these bad boys. Do -do 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 -do. Okay, yeah, looks good. Now we just have to let these puppies dry. Okay guys, I'll let them sit overnight. Uh, let's see how these bad boys turned out. So apparently they're supposed to be kind of solid. Ooh, I don't know how I'm feeling about this. It's kind of very gummy. Maybe if I let it sit for longer, but I mean, I can pick it up, so it's not that bad. Let's go ahead and try one of these. Okay, here we go. Tastes a lot like baking soda. Ugh. Got a toothbrush.
Well, I mean, it's working. I'm not sure how much. Well, I'm not sure how much more convenient it is to use these as opposed to just using a regular toothpaste tube and squeezing it out on your toothbrush. Uh, but I guess we can say that this one works. Okay, so before we start this, I just want to say I'm not sure if they're trying to say that my shoelaces will glow in the dark or if they're just going to be so clean that they're going to be really white under a black light. I don't really know. So, uh, anyway, I'm just going to try both, I guess. Ugh, yeah, don't need that anymore. And we get our cup. They use something called Sweeps, but I don't think we have that in America. Uh, we have club soda instead. Oh, no. Don't explode, don't explode, don't explode. Okay, and we're good. Put that in there. Then we put just a little bit of peroxide and then some baking soda. That should be enough. Then all I gotta do is mix, mix, mix. Man, I really hope that this makes my shoelaces glow in the dark. I feel like it's just gonna make them really clean, which I mean, is still cool, but you know, that's not as cool as making them glow in the dark. Okay, now it says to soak it for five minutes. So I guess I'll see you guys then. Okay, time's up. We don't need uh, this anymore. Let's see uh, if these are any cleaner. Uh, I mean, they're not really any cleaner. They're still kind of like messy. They just look as dirty as they were before. So maybe that means that they actually glow in the dark. Uh, let's try this out. I'm gonna turn off all my lights. And here we go. Are they glowing? They are not glowing at all. These guys are not glowing at all. Does that look like they're glowing? It still doesn't look like they're glowing like at all. So maybe it's the black light. I'm gonna go get my black light. Here's my trusty black light. I'm gonna go ahead and plug that in. Turn it on. I mean, they're not even glowing. Okay, I really don't know what the heck this hack is even supposed to be. I'm gonna go ahead and turn my lights back on. Yeah, so it looks like um, none of those things work. So I'm not sure what the heck this hack is supposed to be, but it doesn't do any of those. So, so I guess we're gonna have to say this one doesn't work. Okay, guys, so here are our matches. All we gotta do is uh, light these on fire really quick. Oh, man. Oops. We only need a few, really. So I'm just gonna go ahead and... Oh, that's one. Yeah, that ought to do it. Now we're just gonna get our magnet, and maybe these will stick. Are they gonna stick? Uh, well, this is awkward. They're not sticking. Why isn't this magnet sticking? Uh, in the video, they actually rubbed uh, the tip of the match with the magnet, so maybe that does something. I don't really know. Uh, so I'm gonna do that first, and then light that on fire. Okay, maybe this is gonna do something. You ready? Nope. It's not even like picking up the little parts of it. Yeah, that's not working at all. So I'm gonna go ahead and say that this one doesn't work. I don't know why this doesn't work. This straight up just doesn't work. Okay, here we have a prime piece of paper. Uh, now let's write something fun. Uh, derp, derp, derp. So we're just gonna erase. It's gonna take me a long time to erase all this stuff and get rid of all this eraser. Looks like I got a lot of work ahead of me. This eraser is actually terrible. One thing I never understood about pencils is like, why do they only give you this much eraser? Like, you have this whole pencil. We're human. Don't you know that we're gonna make mistakes? Anyway, just gonna keep going. Oh no, I'm all out of eraser. What am I gonna do? We break out our trusty sharpener. This feels kind of dangerous to me. Uh, just make sure not to eat the pencil shavings. I don't know who does that, but uh, d don't do it. Okay, cool. Yeah, we now have more eraser. Awesome. Now let's try it. And it broke off. Oops, maybe I could just, uh... oh yeah. Well, we definitely have access to the eraser now. So I guess we're gonna have to say this one. Okay guys, so here are our bottles. So I guess the first thing we gotta do is uh, flatten them. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that right now. Oh yeah, I can already tell that this is gonna be a super comfortable uh, sandal. It's gonna be really good. Just trust me on this one. Oh, it's so sticky. There we go. Yeah, okay, next one. 
dude, I don't know what I would do if I saw someone walking down the street in these. Oh my goodness, this is amazing. Okay, now it's time to try these bad boys on. Okay, here we go. I actually got some cool socks on too because we're gonna be doing everyone's favorite part of the video where we regret the thumbnail. Woo! Man, I already messed up the backdrop though, so this kind of sucks. Okay, so here we go. Oh, no, I ripped it. No. Okay, maybe I'll, I won't rip this one. A little better, I guess. Okay, I need tape. I guess we could say that this one doesn't work because uh, it ripped almost right away. So here we go. Yeah, just tape that back on. Yeah, okay, let's try that. I feel like this sock needs to be a different color because it just blends in with the blue. Oh my gosh. Okay, I went ahead and changed my socks. These are my pizza socks. I think they're pretty good. Ah! How are we feeling about this? Yeah, uh, maybe something like this? Man, this looks like a mess. Oh my gosh. Okay, so here's our little cup. Put some water in there. Good, good. Then we put our bath foam. Yeah, this looks nice and bath foamy. This is actually shower gel. I'm not sure if this is gonna work. So then we just uh, make a circle with our little zip tie. Cool, yeah, looks good. Mix it up. Okay, ready? One, two, and woo! Make it bubble. Almost, a little bit more maybe. Oh yeah, that looks great. Okay, here we go. Oh, that's definitely way more soapy. Nope. Almost. Yay, I did it! Woo! Well, guys, I guess we said this one works! Okay, so here are our matches. Uh, we're just gonna go ahead and dump all these out. And then apparently, we just kind of cut this off like this, and this like this. And they cut all the sides on these guys. So it's one, two, boop. They cut all the sides. And then after that, they flip these in like this, just like that, and then in like that. I think they push this in like this. I don't really understand the point of this hack. Like the strike on box, it works fine. Why am I doing this? This makes no sense. I know for a fact if you flip it in like this, It'll do it. I honestly just don't see the point in, in ruining like a perfectly good matchbox. This is so pointless. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and say that this one, uh, it, this hack just kinda isn't very good. So just ignore this whole hack. Okay, so here's my phone. I'm just gonna flip that over and Here's our first layer of tape. Go ahead and put that right over my flag. Then we do blue, looks good. Then we're gonna do another layer of tape. Boop. And then we do red. Okay. Also, the reason I'm doing this one again is because you guys all told me that I did it wrong the last time. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> so I'm just gonna go ahead and turn off all the lights. Boop, boop, boop. So here's a normal black light. As you can see, uh, Toby is glowing. This is what uh, a black light is supposed to do, okay? I'm just gonna turn that off now. Now we're gonna try our homemade black light. So uh, here we go. Is it working? Uh, I mean, it just kind of looks like a normal flashlight still. Does this look like it's glowing at all? I don't think it is. Yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and say that this one doesn't work. Okay guys, so here's a knife that I bought, but I can't open it because, you know, it's covered in plastic. So I need a knife to open my knife because that's real logic right there. So we're just gonna go ahead and break out our can opener, which I guess is also a knife opener at this point. Put this on there, and then we're just gonna do this. Oh man, this is a good way to get cut. I mean, more like on the side. Oh, is it opening? I think it might be. Oh my gosh, it actually made a cut in this. Okay, maybe we'll try it the other way, this way. I mean, it's kind of working. It's not working really as well as it says that it does, but I mean, it is kind of working. I'm just gonna kind of try and can open the, the, the same part over and over again. I don't know, maybe that'll open it. Did that do anything? Dang, it's still not opening. I don't know what happened on this side. It kind of opened. Maybe I'll try it again on this side. Is that doing it? Did that work? Okay, yeah, this doesn't look like it's really working. So I'm gonna go ahead and say that this one doesn't work. Okay, boys, let's break open a nice cold Coca-Cola. 
Okay, there we go. Next, we're gonna get our activated charcoal. We're just gonna put that in there. Oh my gosh, it's making it fizz. Oh no, oh no, 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 oh no. I think I might've put a little bit too much. Just gonna wipe that up really quick. But you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and put more. That should be enough. <laughs> <laughs> it's like eating cereal. There's so much of it at the bottom now. Oh my gosh. That is so much. Okay, so I'm gonna do Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much to anyone who said bless you. Okay, I'm gonna do one cup like completely filled like that. And then I'm gonna do another cup. And I'm only gonna put one or two scoops. Oh, it's expanding again. No, 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 no. Stop! Oh, not again. There you go. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave that with one scoop. And uh, let's check in again tomorrow. Okay, guys, so uh, it's been about three days, uh, not quite four days. This is what we're looking like with the one full of charcoal. And this is the one with only like one or two scoops. You can't really see it from this angle, but this one is really, really clear. This one, not so much. It's a little bit clear. It's it's getting there, but not quite. Here, I'll show you. Yeah, see, as you can see, uh, it's a lot more clear on this one than it is on this one. But it's definitely more clear than the Coke was yesterday. So uh, if I gave it another day, I bet this would be 100% clear and this would be mostly clear. So I'm gonna go ahead and say that this one works. Okay, so as you can see, there's a lot of like old rust stuff inside of this pot. It was like this when I got it, uh, and I just kind of never bothered to clean it. So I guess today is the day. So it's gonna get our coke. Oh my gosh. Ah, okay. Stump all that in there. Yeah, there we go. I think I'm gonna need another one because it only goes up that far. Chug, 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 chug. Oh no, 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 no. No, don't get everywhere. Please don't get everywhere. Please don't get everywhere. There we go. Okay, that's good. Now we're just gonna go ahead and turn this on. That's the wrong one. There we go. Smack that cap on there, and I will see you guys when this boils. Okay, take that off. Yep, that's definitely boiling. Okay, now it says we just have to leave it overnight. So I guess I'll see you guys uh, in the morning. Okay, so I left it overnight. Uh, let's see if uh, anything changed. Oh, that is sticking to it now. <laughs> just gonna go ahead and pour this out. And it kind of looks like it's kind of the same as it was uh, yesterday. I think that it might just be so rusted that this pot is messed up. Yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and say that this one didn't work. Okay, so here are our markers. Uh, just take these off, and apparently we just kind of color one side of them, just like that. I think these markers might be bad. Okay, yeah, no, they're okay. Just uh, color the side like that. Maybe orange and pink are kind of bad colors to use. Yeah, that's definitely a bad color to use. I'm gonna try orange and blue. Let's try that. Oh, wow, yeah, that's definitely working. Okay, as you can see there, uh, the colors changed a little bit. Oh, yeah. I mean, it kind of works a little bit. Yep, it's definitely a different color right there. Well, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and say this one works. Okay, so here's my backpack. I brought this thing all over the country with me at least two or three times. A lot of fun times with this backpack. Huh, I wonder what's in here. What the heck? Hey, I was sleeping! I've actually been wondering where you went. I've been sleeping in this bag the whole time! Okay, well, uh, get the heck out of here. So we're gonna get our zip ties, and we're just gonna put it out here, zip it up. Oh my god, it looks like this actually works! I can't believe it! I'm gonna go ahead and cut this so it's a little shorter though. And we might as well do the other one while we're at it. Here we go, just on there, boop, and cut. Okay, yeah, it looks pretty good. So I guess I'm gonna go ahead and say it. this one works! Okay, so I'm not exactly sure where my funnel went, so it looks like we're gonna have to make our own. We're just gonna get some tape. I got some cool galaxy tape here. Boop. Okay, put it off to the side. Yeah, that ought to do it. We're just gonna tape it up like that. Snip the tip, and boop. Yeah, that should do it. Put our cup there, put our funnel, crack an egg. 
Now let's see if this works. Oh, that definitely did not work. Uh, okay, so I'm not sure if, uh, you know, because I don't have a real funnel or if it's because this just doesn't work. But for me, it looks like it's just not working. It got the yellow yolk all up in there and uh, it doesn't, it, it, this is not working at all. So I'm gonna have to say this one doesn't work. Okay guys, now it's everyone's favorite part of the video where we recreate the thumbnail. Woo! Featuring my dirty, dirty sink. I'm very sorry guys. So just throw that water on there. Now we're gonna let that boil. Okay, we're all boiled, looks good. Now it's time to get our ladle, get our egg, pop that in there. I really don't know if this is actually gonna make it cook or not. I feel like it might, but it's gonna take a while. So here we go, get that in there. Now I just gotta hold it like this until it's fully cooked. I feel like this is gonna take a while, so I'll see you guys whatever this is uh, kinda cooked maybe. You can do it, egg, you can cook, you can cook. You can cook. Okay, maybe this will make a good thumbnail. I'm gonna keep waiting until this fully cooks though, because I wanna see if this actually cooks it. I decided to move it to a different angle because my lens was getting kind of hot and I really don't want this puppy to break. Come on, egg, cook already. Oh, I got water in it. Shoot, I mean, it's kind of cooking. You can do it, you can do it. I got more water in it. Dang it, I am the world's best egg chef. Okay, yeah, that looks mostly cooked. Uh, let's see how this bad boy turned out. Move this off to the side, this right here. Okay, here we go. Oh, that's that's not good. Come on, get out of there, little egg. Okay, so this is obviously not a very effective way of cooking eggs. It got stuck right in there. I mean, maybe if I actually put like butter inside of it so it didn't stick, it would work. But as of right now, it looks like it doesn't work if you just throw a, an egg inside of a ladle. So I guess we're gonna have to say this one doesn't work. Woo! Okay, guys, thanks so much for watching the video. If you liked it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Look some of this right, right down there. If you guys wanna watch me do even more fun life hacks and crafts, I have a whole playlist dedicated to me doing that right here. If you guys are new, make sure to hit that subscribe button. If you guys want the shirt, some stickers, or any of my other merch, you can click right here. Okay, guys, I love you so much. I'll see you guys again real soon. Peace, love, and Wi-Fi. I'll go to Okay, bye! Ah!